Hey everybody, welcome back to the Donkey Kong Country Commentary. Yeah, unfortunately for us, the and for you, our fellow commentator, Crispy Chicken 14 will not be able to join us for this one. All because his computer died on him. Yep, there's just too many issues going on right now. And frankly, I've lost interest in caring. <laughs> and yay, we're underwater! Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes, that's a doggy paddle. Doggy paddle to victory. Uh, what I don't understand is... We're in poison water, so that place is called Poison Pond, so yeah. Wow, really? What, yeah, what are we swimming in? Are we really swimming in poison? And damn it, I died. You didn't die, you're just scratching your head going, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I wish. I wish it was more like that, but I lost a life, damn it. This is the last swimming section, so, you know, it's got to be the most difficult swimming section because all these creatures, you know, like the shark and the the piranha they there. All they all kill you. Yeah, they can blindsight you. And then you also have these wheels, which are the most out-of-place thing in this whole level. I don't understand. What's the reason for them? Yeah, well, that's what happens. I mean, they're not even on a track. They're, they're on nothing. They're there to kill you. That's all there is to it. Why, are they sentient or something like that? Yes. <laughs> Don't you see the smiley faces on them going, Yeah, come here, donkey. I want to kill you. That'd be one scary-ass wheel. A sentient wheel. One of, the, one of car wheels were sentient. Oh, shit, they can kill us instantly. <laughs> yep, all they have to do is be like, No, I'm going to turn left instead of right. Hey, you know what? I think today I'm going to drive off a cliff. Damn you, Wheel! You win again, Wheels! I'm going to kill you, Wheel. The only difficult part about this area is, you know, like I said, everything can blindsight you so easily. The wheels, the piranhas, the sharks, the squids. Yep. I'll just have to ask, if this really is a poison lake, why the hell would you be swimming in it? Ah, uh, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I'm pretty would... sure Donkey Kong isn't smart. That's why he always lost to Mario. <laughs> uh, you, I don't know. Maybe he saw something shiny, and then now he just got caught in the poison lake, and he's like, fuck, might as well be here. No, on guard, come back. I need you. No. I love how Diddy Kong is just underwater waiting for you. I'm pretty sure he would have drowned already. I hear you, Donkey Kong. Get me out of here, you asshole. <laughs> <coughs> it's your fault I'm here to begin with. Oh, oh, ah. Oh. Now, yep, I remember those, those uh, wheels. Usually, oh. if there's usually if there's some sort of hole that you can go into, that usually means that something's gonna blindside you, and there's a little safety spot. Oh, 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 oh. 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 lucky bastard. Oh, I almost shit myself there. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. There are, <laughs> there are many times that I've died in this poison pond when recording this. I mostly just edit out most of my deaths because, you know, though they are hilarious, not hilarious, but hilarious, I just wanted to keep continuing on. Yeah, well, soon we're going to be doing Duke Nukem forever. Well, this game's just a joke altogether. Yeah, it makes fun of a bunch of other games, but it's in it of itself is awesome because it is an awesome game. Story and character wise, anyway. Sure, the gameplay could have been done better in the 12 years it was made, but hey, we'll get into that when we watch it. Oh, I'll rip and by that the way, one. fuck you. Yeah, well, I'll rip it once we get to it. I spelled Ong. Hey, look, it's the last Airbender movie. My name is Ong instead of Aang. Uh, is that the, the movie? Uh, the live that, action movie. Yeah, isn't the live action movie done by like M. Night Shyamalan? Yes. And wasn't it was, wasn't it terrible? It was. Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, I never watched the show to begin with. I, the show is a lot better. I mean, I mean the show is I, the show the, the show was good, but I don't know. I just never peaked interest into it, really. I like I I catched a couple episodes here and there, but it seems like it's one of those shows that really you had to watch it from the beginning in order to understand what the hell's going on. Yeah, it can be that kind of show, but then now and again they'll give you like a whole reboot of like, well, rebuttal of what the hell's happening. Last time, uh, last Airbender Z. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna think of every time from now on. Jesus, that vulture almost skinned me. Fuck you, vulture! Fuck you! And I missed a bonus barrel, but it's okay though, because I'm not going for 100%. I don't think I'll ever go for 100% ever. And now I spell cog, just like in Gears of War. They should have spelled cog like that. Instead of spelling it properly, they should have spelled it with a K. Just to show you them how maverick the cog is. We're the cog, and we spell cog with a K. I just have to ask, where are you? Because the holy video didn't upload properly. Uh, I'm at 547, 48, 49. 550, 551, 552, 553, 555, 556, 557, 558, 559, 6 minutes, and 601. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I just finished the bonus room, so I'm mm -hmm. the exit. Hey, look, it's the party asshole. I don't like him. Eh, like I said, oh, you, you completely ditched him. Well, there's no point. Like I said, back all the way in part one, Funkies are only reason is for you to transfer between between worlds. Because once you go into a world, you can't get out unless you go to Funky Kong. But, you know... Fuck you, Funky Kong! And now we're probably in one of the most difficult stages, because, you know, it's a... You can't see shit. Yeah, the light's black out and everything like that. I, you probably can't see it on your computer screen, but actually when I was playing this on uh, my TV, there you can see kind of the uh, platforms a little bit. I mean, they're barely visible, but you can still see them. But, you know, watching it on YouTube's compression, you can't Fuck see you, Diddy. shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Diddy. Uh, things won't get as cool as Donkey Kong Country 2 for where you can chuck your partner, but they'll come back like some sort of boomerang action. Bonk. So Donkey Kong did learn something from Mario to jump on people's heads. At least Donkey Kong Jr. did. Cranky? Well, he just got fucked in the end, and now he's old and gray and full of regrets. Cranky. The way of the Kong. Donkey Kong. I'm using Donkey Kong for this level because there is a lot of big enemies that can blindsight you, and the best person to use is Donkey Kong since he's able to in instantly kill those uh, the big crushers and everything like that when he's able to jump on them. Diddy, you would have to rely a lot on his spin attack and, you know, his cartwheel attacks, and that's not the best thing to do. Oh, gee, look, a banana right there. Oh, look at that, a bonus barrel. It's like it was telling me that there was a bonus here. And then this bonus room, of course, also has the blackout in it, too. So, you know, you're not alone when it comes to the whole blackout thing. But it's okay, though, because there is a bombless pit in the middle of all this. If you get shot down in the middle of the bombless pit, I don't think you lose a life. I think you just exit the bonus room. Uh, I'm trying to get as much bananas as I can, but I'm like, fuck it. Let's just keep going. Ooh. I think this is the part where I actually ride the barrel. Yep. Yep, this is it. Just take the iron barrel there. Just ro just ride on it. Just keep holding forward. Do not let go, and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Because there, there is a clap trap that blindsights you at the exit. And as long as you keep riding the thing and keep holding down the Y button and keep going forward, you'll never get hit. And now we're on to our next boss. Uh, God, I can't remember his name some sort of drum or something like that but what he does is that he just drops enemies so this is pretty much an endurance round not really a boss fight still all those damn bananas jesus <laughs> well it's funny you know i was going to bring this up earlier in, in other parts that we did that um all the uh all the bosses are actually uh named after really really dirty things like uh Neki's nuts, uh, very naughty. Then we'll go against uh, really naughty and everything like that. They're all into windows. <laughs> but for here, it's not really anything because it's just a drum. And same thing with the bee. I think those are the only two bosses, other than the final boss, um, who had uh, you know, into windows names. 
and now we're at the very last world of the game the chimp caverns and this is my least favorite level in the whole entire game because what I'm doing here is that I am riding a conveyor belt but you have to keep the thing fueled oh that's a little that's kind of new uh, that's something well, I've never done before well it's in, it's an interesting concept it's just a pain in the ass because they throw so much in your way when you're trying to get the fuel canisters I can hear your TV in the background. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I can. Stan, you can't hold that gun to that person. I can't think of a good metaphor for that. You're ha holding a gun to God's head. I can't think of a better metaphor for that. Yeah. Uh oh. Like, uh oh. Uh, you know, they taunted you with that fuel right there. They yeah. They taunted you with of it. Of course they did. It's fucking rare. They're just British dicks like that. But here comes the second half, which actually gets uh, much more challenging. I mean, I'm making it look easy, Boing. but this is actually Boing. more difficult to pull off. And now, since I don't have a wheel to jump on, I'm going to have to bring this one onto the treadmill here and have it for the fuel. You don't want to push it off too early or else you'll never get that fuel thing. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Jeez, I love how Diddy's just clipping through the damn thing. Mm. Diddy just says, fuck you to your physics. I can clip through anything I want. And then these then these B jumps, Jesus Christ, they put so many of these zingers around here and then they expect you to do like a triple jump and everything like that. And that B always kept getting me. I don't know why, but I always seem to r run into that B a lot when I was recording this. I love how they gave you like shit little fuel every single time. Yeah, well that's the whole point. They're only supposed to give you like one by one, and then, you know, they'll give you more canisters. But then <laughs> they expect you to dodge more shit. And I say fuck that fuel cannon because there's no point. All you'll get is the letter G if you keep continuing onwards. So I'm pretty much at the end. I just want to make sure I don't fall into the pit and go to the exit. Woo! They say tanked up trouble is fucked up. Do the, do the happy dance. Do the happy dance. Do the happy dance. And I think this is actually our last cave level too, which, once again, these Fuck you, Jenny. Back. And this is actually not that hard of a level. You just gotta be extra careful. And we got Rambi again. Haven't seen him in a while. Well, I'm probably gonna lose him pretty quickly. Like that. <laughs> Rammy, no! I liked him, you dick. Well, it's stupid. How did you not get that? What, the uh, letter? Yeah, you touched it. Uh, did I? Yeah, I saw it. You touched it. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't <laughs> like the toe. I don't know. That's my half ass excuse. <laughs> I just don't know or don't care. Probably both. Damn it. Stupid crusher just crushed my barrel. And now I can't get to the bonus room. Oh well, whatever. All this level, what it has to, it's just a bunch of tricky jumping. That's it. Other than that, nothing too special. Just your, just your average platform level. Another, f might as well, might as well, since we're talking about this game, I have a fun fact about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the fun fact about this game is that Shigeru Miyamoto, the guy who's in charge of Nintendo, you know, the one who made Zelda and Mario and all that, he actually did not like this game. Not surprised. I hate it. <laughs> no, it's the fact is that um, he's, he's, he, um, from what Donkey Kong Country is different from most of the games that he develops and everything like that is that, you know, the graphics are pretty amazing for what it was back in 1994. And Sekiro Miyamoto kind of had this offset mind where, like, yeah, you can have good graphics and everything like that, but if you're giving, if you're putting in that much graphics into it, then the gameplay is going to be pretty bad. 
but he didn't care because this game made him a lot of money, so he didn't give a shit afterwards. And I think he actually retract that statement in the future. Man, yeah, well, it, what he says isn't it completely lies because that is somewhat true when it comes to this stuff. Oh yeah, of course, but you know the gameplay in Donkey Kong Country still is great. I mean, yeah, he he does have a point when it comes to you know, you know, better graphics doesn't make a better game, but you know, in this case it's you know Donkey Kong Country. You know, for what it was, you know, the graphics are really good and the gameplay still is fun and timeless to this very day. Yep. So, that's you know, there are so many games that I can just rip right now for. Uh, graphics and less for more graphics and less gameplay. You know which ones come to the top of my list, so I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, yeah, I could definitely, I could definitely think about it. Nothing special about this area. All we're doing is just going through another mining area, except this time it has mist and a barrel full of enemies. Kind of like the mini barrels of the boss that we just fought not too long ago. Evil mini barrel bosses. My god, they're reproducing very sporadically. Yeah, the problem... Uh, 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 the armadillos uh, and the clap traps are the ones that can give you the most shit. Just, they can just come out so quickly. Eh, yeah, that one commits suicide. Boing, boing, boing. And there we go, that's the exit. Dance. Happy dance. Dude, happy Ooh. dance. Happy dance time. Everybody happy dance time.